Hello and welcome to the daily cricket show, Cricket Happenings with your host Ram. Well, today the main focus is going to be the preview of the Indian Premier League Finals 2017 that is going to take place on a public holiday in India on a Sunday. It's going to be played between the rising Pune Super Giants versus the Mumbai Indians. This match is going to be played in a neutral venue to both. It's going to be played at Hyderabad. Now Mumbai Indians, they would be, they are two time IPL champions and they would be looking out for their third win in IPL. As far as the rising Pune Super Giants are concerned, they know that this rising Pune Super Giants name won't, no longer won't, uh, tomorrow would be the last day for the rising Pune Super Giants in the IPL. There won't be any rising Pune Super Giants in the next IPL as we all know. And rising Pune Super Giants, they would be hoping that they can win this match because this is um, a match which if they, if they can win, it will be their maiden um, uh, maiden victory in IPL and what a way that would be for rising Pune Super Giants uh, to actually uh, end that particular final I mean win the IPL 2017 uh, and say goodbye to IPL now so so these are two things uh, that would be in everyone's mind Mumbai Indians looking out for their third victory in IPL they had previously they have won this twice as you would already know and so this is going to be, um, you know, and also let's have a look at the head-to-head -head as far as Rising Pune Super Giants Mumbai Indians are concerned. Uh, in fact, the Rising Pune Super Giants are the ones who are actually holding the wood over the Mumbai Indians, I would say, because it's a 4-1. So in this IPL, it's been 4-1 to the rising Pune Super Giants. So the Mumbai Indians definitely under uh, extreme pressure tomorrow and they are taking on the rising Pune Super Giants. But we all know that Mumbai Indians are a very, very strong unit. There's no doubt about that. And we will see what really comes off uh, in this, uh, in this uh, very, very a meaty clash, the finals, the Indian Premier League 2017 finals. And well, there can't be a better place in cricket than to be sitting tomorrow at the stadium in Hyderabad. So let's have a look at the Mumbai Indians. The Mumbai Indians uh, are breeding with confidence. The, 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 uh, the Mumbai Indians, according to me, uh, Parthiv Patel is someone who has always been contributing. So one is looking at Lendl Simmons uh, showing some consistency because Lendl Simmons has to uh, come up with the goods because it's very essential that the Mumbai Indians openers get off to a very good start at that and they are capable. I mean, I'm sure if Lendl Simmons is going to stay with Parthiv Patel, uh, that's going to be an electric start uh, as far as Mumbai Indians are concerned. Rohit Sharma will be the captain who will be leading the side. He has to watch out for one thing. Let's see whether there is any leg spinner. Yes, there's Adam Zampa uh, from Rising Pune Super Giant. Rohit Sharma has always been a victim to the spinners. So Rohit Sharma has to watch out for that. I'm sure uh, he would have done his homework and everyone would have done their homework because they know that this is the finals and if they miss this chance, there's no chance for them. So Rohit Sharma would have definitely saw uh, looked at his videos as to why he was fallible against the spin and he has been fallible against spinners uh, His majority of the wickets has gone to the spinners Rohit Sharma. So better Rohit Sharma. You watch out the spinner Ambati Raidu. Uh, well the other day uh, he really scorched the turf with his uh, beautiful batting But uh, later on he, he has failed. So now whether Ambati Raidu, but he's a, he's a very very uh, talented uh, bloke no doubt about it so Ambati Raidu will be looking at that. Uh, the Kiran Poland and Kunal Pandya and Hardik Pandya are three solid all-rounders in the pack for the Mumbai Indians. Pollard can really, really, uh, you know, he really set the stadium alive with his strokes. Kunal Pandya uh, has been a real revelation this season. I mean, he has been 
uh, uh, performing both with man and ball. Hardik Pandya, his brother, uh, who is always, always a full contributor. Uh, and this Pandya brothers form an awesome combination, I would say. Karan Sharma, the other day, he bamboozled. Uh, the, the, the Sunraj was either about to push them out of the competition. And Karan Sharma uh, will be someone uh, who would also play a very, very good role. Uh, the bowling will be in the hands of Jaspreet Bumrah. Jaspreet Bumrah is coming uh, after bowling a wonderful dream spell of three overs, one minute, seven runs and three wickets. That, that is a dream spell that you could bowl in a T20. Three overs for seven runs and three wickets. That really tells you what Jaspreet Bumrah can really do. He can cause immense damage, I would say. Mitchell Johnson uh, will be partnering with Lasit Malinga. Mitchell Johnson or Mitchell McLennan. That is going to be the toss-up now. Uh, whether McLennan might get his opportunity or Lasit Malinga. Probably one would go with Lasit, uh, with Mitchell Johnson. Uh, or it could be uh, a combination of Johnson and McLennan with Lasit Malinga being left out. One does not know what really. Uh, probably they might even uh, settle for a left arm, right arm. Mitchell Johnson and Lasit Malinga. So one has to wait and watch. So the Mumbai Indians, I'm sure... They are all breeding with confidence. Now, let me also tell you, uh, be a fan subscribers. Uh, you know, I, I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm from Mumbai. So, you know, my heart is with Mumbai, no doubt about it. But at the same token, I would say, uh, let the best team win. But Mumbai Indians, uh, definitely, you know, being, being a product of Mumbai, being born and brought up in Mumbai, I would like to, I know that the Mumbai, I'm very, I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that Mumbai Indians uh, have made it to the Indian Premier League Finals 2017. Rising Pune Super Giants. Let's have a look at the Rising Pune Super Giants. Rising Pune Super Giants have a very, very uh, wonderful opening pair. Rahul Tripathi at the top of the order is absolutely dynamite. He is the one he has shown in this uh, Indian Premier League that he is not the one to shy away from walking down, shimming down, not even not only to the spinners, also to the pacers and whacking them all across the ground. So Ajinkya Rahani uh, is the one who would be a sort of the stabilizing force as an opener, along with Rahul Tripathi, who would um, went their way slowly, but Rahul Tripathi would be expected to get those explosives out tomorrow against the Mumbai Indians. Stephen Smith, the captain, Always, always leading from the front. I mean, he has been the new captain of the Rising Pune Super Giants, taking from Dhoni, and but he has done an admirable job. He has got the team into the finals, uh, made an entry into the finals of IPL. MS Dhoni is someone to whom Stephen Smith definitely looks out for advice. MS Dhoni definitely passes on all the advice to Stephen Smith, and Stephen Smith and MS Dhoni scheme things for their team and see to it that the rising Pune Super Giants are successful. And it has happened when I've seen that on the field and in the off the field, I'm sure it is happening. Manoj Tiwari, another talented bat, and MS Dhoni himself is in some uh, terrific, I mean, he has just got, got back his mojo, I would say. Uh, the other day we saw he hit five sixes to how to catapult the rising Pune Super Giants to a huge score. So Dhoni is in his element, I reckon. Dan Christian, another all-rounder, uh, Washington Sundar, he has been a sort of a real, um, a sort of a real boon for the Rising Pune Super Giants. Just 17 years of old, right arm off spinner Washington Sundar has been very, very impressive. He has been, uh, he, he has, he, he has known to bowl uh, according to the nature of the wicket, and that's really good to see. So Washington Sundar is someone one has to keep an eye on, and Bumba Indians would be wary about that. Uh, as far as the bowling is concerned, it will be in the hands of Jaydev Munatkar, who has already made rapid strides in this IPL, has shown that he's a much improved bowler now, the left arm seam of Jaydev Munatkar. And also he has shown that his, uh, his fielding skills have also considerably improved with those uh, very good catches, some uh, good reflex runouts that he has done in this IPL. Adam Zampa is left from Jaydev Munatkar will be partnered by Shardul Thakur, Shardul Thakur, as um, you know, he himself is a, a guy from Mumbai, uh, but Shardul Thakur here is on the other side. But I'm sure he's not going to going to give nothing away 
and he's going to keep his consistency that he has shown in this IPL. Lucky Ferguson, he can harry the harry the team with lots of pace. Uh, he's a very very um, he's quite pacey, but we have seen that Lucky Ferguson can also control his pace. He can also uh, at at 145 clicks, he can also bowl uh, in a manner that could be economic economical. And you could really, really throttle the Mumbai Indians. Adam Zampa, the leg spinner, uh, would be there uh, in case there's some turn in the pitch. And let's see, as far as uh, the, the strategies are concerned, it's going to be interesting. As I said, one, one has to really wait and watch as to what comes up tomorrow uh, in this uh, wonderful finals that is going to be enacted uh, at the Hyderabad Stadium. Uh, in Mumbai Indians versus the rising Pune Super Giants. So tomorrow, one would come to know whether it was the Mumbai Indians who got their um, third IPL victory or it was rising Pune Super Giants getting their maiden victory, uh, maiden IPL uh, uh, victory. Well, I wish, um, as I said, I am a, a Mumbai. Uh, I've, I've, I've actually been born and brought up in Mumbai. But I'm supporting both the teams. I would say may the best team win. Uh, but Mumbai Indians was a rising Pune Super Giants. Well, I think it's a wonderful clash, uh, and you know it's 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 a victory for cricket. I would say, and uh, and uh, definitely uh, I know that this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful affair, which is going to happen uh, tomorrow at Hyderabad in Indian Premier League Finals 2000. 17. So that brings an end to this preview and now we get on to some uh, other cricket news. The cricket news, well tomorrow uh, New Zealand versus Ireland. It's the, uh, the, the Tri-Series continues as uh, New Zealand take on Ireland at Malahide. Um, so that is another match which is coming up. So And also uh, yesterday um, I definitely spoke about Ronsford beaten. Uh, being uh, given a maiden debut, the pace bowler from Guyana, uh, getting into the West Indies team uh, for the T20s against Afghanistan. And also, let's talk about uh, the first tour game. As you know, South Africa are in England, and South Africa played their first tour game yesterday. It was a one-day international fixture, and uh, well, Quinton de Kock um, uh, really played excellently to score a century. Uh, even Pavel and Dumini got good knocks and it was not a balling attack that uh, could be called uh, menacing or something. It was just a warm-up match which uh, South Africa started on the right foot on the Tour of England by actually winning that particular match. Other than that, uh, well, I can, um, I don't have anything else to really talk about, uh, dear fans, friends, subscribers. Uh, it has been a pleasure uh, previewing the uh, Indian Premier League Finals 2017 and as I said may the best team win and provide wholesome entertainment tomorrow at the stadium in Hyderabad and let the crowd get their money's worth tomorrow well with this in mind and with this um, with, with this particular on this particular note uh, it's about time for me to end this daily cricket show uh, by uh, signing off this on a Saturday. Thank you.